Hello and welcome back to SAP Plant Maintenance Training. This is Farooq from Cube ERP. So in this session we are going to see how to uh, do a service receipt. So there is a service that we need to do. Maybe we need to do some sort of uh, maintenance on our equipment or a part. But we don't have the ability in house to do that service. So we will need to ask some external vendors to either come in our facility to do the service or we send the equipment out to do the service. So let's start. Uh, we create an order IW31. So in this order, the order type is PM02. Use the equipment. I will use desktop here. Press enter. I will change this one here. Desktop. So we have given the plant, the business area, and now so this one is uh, replace motherboard. So we need the motherboard to be replaced. So we don't have this ability in house, and so we need to get this thing done outside. Press enter. Let's go into operations. So replace motherboard. So in the operations, we change, need to change the control key. The control key is this one. So we need to change the control key. We need to say plant maintenance external service. So we need a service. to PM03. Let's say we let's give a duration of two hours. One, two hours, press enter. So we've given the op text already and uh, select this one and go into external. So here what we are going to say is, we are going to say what is the quantity, how much, what are the unit of measure, what is the cross price. So repair by external provider, quantity 1, uh, unit of measure each, gross price 150. If you have a service number, if you have a service catalog, you can pick up from your service catalog the service number, but I don't have a service catalog. So that's why I am just uh, putting a text here instead of any service number. So once this is done, uh, we can just save it. So once I have saved, it has given me a purchase, or, uh, sorry, a order number. Let me go back into the order in display mode. It should create purchase acquisition and we should be able to see this one in the operations. Let's go into the operation, select the line, select the line, select the line and go into actual data. So in the actual data we have a requisition number. So a purchase requisition number has been which is the requisition number is available in the actual data. The the requisition was already created. So this now needs to be converted into a purchase order. But before this one, we need to release this order. So let's go back. Uh, go into order change. Uh, look at the permits. Approve the permit for this order. Release this one. Then we release this order. Cost should be, plan cost is already there. Save this order. Let me go back in a display mode. In the display mode, I can go back into the operations. I just want to see the purchase requisition number again. So the purchase requisition is there. So the next step is to create a purchase order. So again, I need to go into the transaction ME21N. I will open another session 
and I will go into the transaction ME21N ME21N uh, let me copy the requisition number in the purchase order there is a as we saw earlier in a different session there is a field for purchase requisition I'll put that purchase requisition number here press enter so basically it should copy all the data I'm just going to give a vendor who is going to give service press enter again so if you look at account assignment this is F which is against an order and there's an item category is D service uh, look at the detail also there's a service tab added here so there's a service so this is done so we can just save it save the order here for a, for a service purchase order, the receipt, the GR, is not a material GR, is basically a service receipt. So we don't do it by MIGO, we have a different transaction, which is called ML81N. And the receipt for a uh, service is called service entry sheet. So we need to create a service entry sheet against this purchase order number. So I will open, go to the sub, to the session of the order. I will change transaction ML eighty one N. See other purchase order. Now let me copy the purchase order number. Give the purchase order number here. Press enter. press enter press create external service I'm just giving a trans uh, short text external service for PM order and then we say copy service from the purchase order so we what we want to do is we want to copy everything from the purchase order adopt so now our whatever we had in the purchase order has been adopted here so once we so we have got everything here we don't need to do anything else uh, and what we can do is if we are happy with the service say this is basically what is the process in the background of this one is like the the computer was given to the external vendor he has replaced the hard uh, the motherboard and now he's saying that he has completed his service and we are saying yes okay you have we are accepting that he has he has done the service to accept the service we need to release this one so we have to click on this green flag which means it has been accepted will be accepted green flag and then I press save so this is a service entry sheet number that that is being created it is now updating the data in controlling so now it is saying the service sheet has been accepted so if I go back into my order ME23N I think there's a session open already for the order let's go back there so this is the order I will just update the order once I update the order and then I should be able to see purchase order history 
So in the purchase order history, we should be able to see that the receipt. So this is the receipt that has been done for the service. So the service receipt has already been done. So the next step can be that you can go into the invoicing, go into the MIRO. The transaction for invoicing is NMIRO. Here you can do the invoicing. So the invoice date, today's date, uh, today's date is 13.05.15. Give the purchase order number. For the purchase order that was created, then it should pick up the balance quantity here. Once it picks up the balance quantity, then you need to give what is the quantity that you are posting. Once they are zero, then it can be posted. I will go back into IW33. Look at the cost. So the actual cost has already been posted. So once you've done Miro, you need to come back into the order again and then do your uh, processes for the TACO, variance calculation, settlement and business completion. And this way you will close your order. So this is how you can do external receipt, external service received for a maintenance order. So that's about it for this session. In the next session we will we can meet again to look at that uh, look at a different topic thank you bye